Good morning. Thinking good. It's ten past. <laughs> oh well. Good morning anyway. <laughs> We've got the road tyres on today. You do? I can feel he wants to go already. <laughs> it's just so light. Mm. You know, there's no weight to the bike at all when you've got uh, road tyres on. It is a big difference, yeah. I don't think I'd ever notice it, but yeah, I do. I've got the heart rate monitor on as well, except I'm wearing mics. So we'll see how it uh, compares. I think your favourite hole has been filled up, look. There we go. Yeah, it's working. Hello, are you alive? <laughs> so another beautiful day. I think it's supposed to be about six or seven degrees, but it feels warmer than that. Or maybe I've just got too many layers on, I don't know. There she comes. I'm going to do pretty much the same route as yesterday. Uh, we've got the road tyres on today. Well, I say road tyres. They're actually Gravel King slicks at 32 mil. So they've still got uh, you know, a good amount of cushion, but uh, not too draggy. They're responsive, aren't they? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, totally transforms the bikes. Alexa told us it was seven degrees. Yeah, I think I agree. In the sun, it's probably a bit warmer than that. So anyway, we're going to see see how we feel. Nothing scientific. Do the same route and just see how we feel today. And see if our average is a bit quicker or the same. And the heart rate monitor is looking better. It's saying I'm doing 140, which is probably about right. Whereas when I was cycling the other day, it was saying I was 160. 170. So it's looking better. I do get a little bit scared yeah. when we're going fast. Yeah, why is that? Well, because of the speed and the fact that you're, we haven't got any box around you to look after you. That and is true, if something goes wrong, I think can I react thing. quickly enough? If I'm following you like I was yesterday, okay. I can't see through you. And if no, you're going to make true. a sudden movement or a sudden do, you know, something, how am I going to react quick enough? Well, so I suppose why, that's what's running through my mind. That's why it's so important you tell me you're there and whether to speed up, slow down, or whatever, because then I can tell you what I'm doing. Half the time, I don't know if you're there or not, so I stop pedaling to look around and see where you are. Yeah, and then I'm nearly at the back of you. <laughs> You've got to tell me. What well, keeps singing or something? There is an element of trust. Of course. You have to trust that I'm looking ahead and keeping you safe when you're tucked in behind me and vice versa. Yes.
find a smooth line. I don't think I'll be getting any air off the hump up here. Not on the skinny tyres. Doing well. It's good to see little kids out on their bikes again. I think it's something that hasn't been obvious for a few years. But uh, since this lockdown, you see lots of kids on bikes now. I think that's a good thing. It didn't hurt us anyway. Okay, I'm with you. as the science would suggest <laughs> but that is the thing isn't it science and the real world don't always converge got to make the most of these lovely days that's for sure well that's like a mill pond today Julie messed it up it wasn't I my did. fault it wasn't my fault she wore, she wore a wind jacket which just flaps all over the place so I don't think it would have mattered how much of a <laughs> how much of a draft I gave her that jacket was just flapping all over the place so there you go well too, ma yeah, yeah. Too, too many anomalies in the real world anyway Friars Cliff Julie's removing her layers because it's blinking warm actually I'm glad I didn't put a neck buff on Hurry up. I'm <laughs> See, I'm, I'm getting aggro now. She's taking her layers off. She's saying she's getting cold. I've got to move. <laughs> yeah. I think she's going to leave me behind if I don't get a move on. It is very surprising how warm that uh, wind cheetah is. I mean, it's like paper thin, but I've taken it off. And now, oh, I'm wishing I hadn't now. <sighs> People are mowing their lawn in January. Going on. <laughs> uh, 
Come on, Mr. Wheeler, catch me up. I suppose I shouldn't be thinking like that. He'll always catch me up. I just need to cycle. Should we time this well today? What do you reckon? It's looking good. It's looking so good. Far, so good. Yep. Now I might have a little poke at this hill. We got to have breakfast this morning with everything that's been going on. So, uh, yeah, it could be me. Yeah, we didn't have breakfast, did we? We didn't. Did you eat anything? Uh, I had yogurt. Oh, well, as long as you had something. I completely forgot. Well, they got the toast out ready to do and then didn't do it. You see, if I'm the mechanic, surely Julie is the nutritionist. I don't know where it is. It's after the bus stop on the right. Is it? Okay. Don't forget your gears, Mike. Don't forget the gears. Ah, holes. Yeah. Holes. Ah. Right, you hear this noise? Yeah. I found something out this morning that was a little bit disturbing, but it'll have to do for today. And that is that this train, that I'm sure is only about six weeks old, uh, yeah, it's had it. Julie's bottom bracket. Fortunately, I had a right side bearing that I could change. Don't ask me how, but these things happen. Uh, the creek is pretty much gone, but there's still a little bit there, so. I think where the right side bearing was broken, it's put a lot of stress on the left and it's probably needs changing as well. So it feels all right. It's not gonna fall apart or anything, but uh, so there you go. Sit rep on the bikes, new bottom bracket for Judy, new chain for me. Probably going to go through Southbourne this time instead of along the beach. I think, I think I've uh, punished my uh, drivetrain just enough, if you know what I mean, without having to give it more sand to contend with. Well, Julie wasn't expecting that. I right, then I left. I can't shake her. He tried to lose me. He didn't manage it. I need to try harder than that. No. You tried to lose me, you'll have to work harder than that. Yes, because it's a Sunday, it's locked down and everybody's really impatient. So, Bellevue Hill. I haven't done this one recently.
Ah, guess where we've ended up. What a surprise. Oh, look who's coming along now. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> I enjoyed that. It gets tight through here. A lot of people park here for the football, but I think today it's just because it's a Sunday and there's plenty of room on the golf course for walking. Another ride done. Nice being on the uh, road tyres, so makes for a nice speedy ride. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. And if you're riding along on your trainer, well, thank you for joining us. And let's uh, look forward to the next ride together.